Hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. So it's been a while since I've made a comprehensive video for Heroes of Dragon Age and we've got some new members and I've gotten a few questions over the last couple weeks. So and I always appreciate the questions. Keep sending them to me. You know you can send them to me Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, uh, or on Discord in the channels we're in, my channel or any of the other channels that I'm in with the, all you guys and gals. Actually, it's pretty even nowadays. It's actually, I think, in my main channel, I think it's actually more girls than guys, which is good to see. And the girls tend to be less toxic, which is always nice. So, we've got some new players, and I've gone over some of the stuff on Discord, but I figured I'd make this. An all-around heroes video since I haven't done one in a while, and we've got onslaught going on right now. I've got tunnelarium packs to open, and then I'll go over some of the tips and tricks that I've been using and you guys have taught me over the last seven years. So we are coming up on the seven-year mark, as you can see here. I joined August twenty-fourth, two thousand fourteen. So we are fast approaching the seven year mark that's seven years right yeah yeah all right so why don't we get into the Lyrian packs first and by the way I hope everyone's staying safe get your vaccinations you know if you want but you know you really got to get vaccinated it's safe up here in Canada I'm very proud of Canada we had a slow start but we are rocking it up now we're above 60 percent for one shots or sorry, over 80% for one shots and over 61%, I think, for fully vaccinated. I got my second shot July 3rd, so it's been three weeks. I'm definitely got my good immunity going on. All right. So I'm not saying that to cause controversies, but it's a safe vaccine. It's world tested, obviously. You know, there are the odd things where you get that one in a hundred thousand people that have, you know, vomiting or whatever. But compared to the millions of people that have died on this mud bowl we live on, come on, you know, and if you're not vaccinated just because of misinformation or some weird conspiracy anti-vax stuff, you know, educate yourself. I'm not going to preach to you, but... You know, you really don't have the right to get someone else sick and kill them. And you hear the argument all the time, oh, it's my choice. Okay, sure, but when you get sick, you're clogging up the hospitals. People that actually need the hospital for surgeries, like my uh, cancer treatments, they have been postponed for months, you know. And I understand, hey, people are dying because of COVID, but that is kind of my point, you know we got to start thinking of everybody else. And in Canada, again, I am very proud of everybody up here. We are doing awesome. And we do think as one. So it's it's a proud moment, i got to say. Anyway, let's get into some gaming here. All right, what were we doing? Oh, right, i got Lyrian packs to open here. we got like 100, 659 packs. All right, I'll go through these quick. And then I'm kind of going to do uh, as if we're just playing the game for the first time. I'm going to kind of pick and choose some characters. I'm going to go over the tips, those little tricks on how to fortify with a legendary, but then use one mythic to... Well, you'll see. It's easier to show it than explain it. All that sort of stuff. And I'll do a few onslaught uh, battles. And it's uh, Saturday, so it's Wisp Day. Remember, you can always do Wisps on Ludacris. Uh, they're not going to hurt you, but if you don't have a strong enough character, you will get timed out by round 10 if you don't kill them. But it's an easy test to figure out if you can do Ludicrous. And most everyone can, unless you've just started and you have really low characters. All right, so these Lyrian packs, all week was the Lyrian pack event, which is great. There was 200 they put in there. I got 150, what was it, 159? All right, so these are going to come in super useful. These are the most versatile hero slash card slash wisp slash whatever you want to carry you want to put them in because you can use them for fortifications 
but they give you a ton of XP if you're going to consume with them. And the reason I say fortify, which you'll see, because they... Actually, you know what? That's another thing that's easier to show than explain. All right, so let's start ripping through these. All right. And, oh, this onslaught is red heroes. So anything red in the faction. This is white and red, but still counts as red for the faction. It's 600% on health and power. So we definitely want to, and I have great heroes, if you watched any of the other videos. My strong points are definitely my white and red factions. I mean, I have all the heroes, but ones that I have fully juiced up. And I need to juice up a couple more. So one test I want to do, because I want to see for myself, is take one of my characters and do the power up. You know, the end of the tiers sort of level up stuff. And just see the kind of difference it makes in some of these. And I'm getting these... Wisps, which is going to be perfect to consume and test out to see exactly what doubles. All right, now we will rip through some of these real quick. And my game's freezing. There we go. Another one, beautiful. Oh, and I got some really good equipment. More that's up here, getting it up there. I've got 15 tomes already, so more tomes are not going to help me that much. I'd rather get really good equipment or runes in this case. All right. Oh, look, he's good. I mean, all the characters are good. I don't need keys. I have 99 keys with everything. I don't need keys. Perfect. Let's start legendary. Even though I have all those characters, it's still good getting legendaries because I use them to consume. There's a tome. I do want to go over some of my equipment because I know it's been a long time since I've updated some of my equipment. So I'm sure I can make some better choices. And a couple bloodstone packs. That's all right. Nice. Or wait, those ones are the iron. I can't remember. I've been playing this game for seven years and I can't remember the names of some of the packs. It's hilarious. Oh, you know, one thing I want to mention, too, and this goes pretty much for consoles, but you can do it on PC, too. When you invite somebody to a game, and this has happened a few times over the years, both of these situations I'm going to explain. You know, let's just say you invite someone to a game, and they don't reply. First, that's okay that they don't reply. They might be busy. They might be in a game. You know, I've, I get lots of invitations, and that's another thing. People might have multiple invitations. So my point is, just don't get upset if you don't hear back from the person you're inviting. You know, a few times I've gotten invited and then later on that day or I'll see a message and they'll be like, you know, why didn't you join? I invited you. You don't want to play? Okay, I do want to play, but I play with lots of people. And it's not personal if we don't reply. It's because either we're already in a game or we might even be away from the console or away from the keyboard. That happens quite often, too. I'll see invitations hours after I, I was actually invited, and I had no idea. Also, because I have notifications off. So if you do invite me and you don't hear back from me at all, then that's one reason why. is because notifications go to my phone. I don't actually see them on screen because I couldn't stand playing games and having, you know, those invitation banners or message banners pop up, you know, totally messes, especially if you're playing a fast game like Rocket League or Paladins or Call of Duty or something. You don't want banners popping up when you're trying to aim at stuff. So, you know, in five, ten minutes, send another invite. You know, if you don't hear back from them, that's okay. But don't, and this happens quite a bit, so... I'm speaking to my friends. I'm not mad. And, you know, some people do get pretty mad. But you don't have to invite me every 10 seconds for like an hour. So that when I see my phone and there's like 98 invitations from the same person within an hour period. That, that's kind of irritating. i got to be honest. It's kind of irritating. And it's just because, like I said, nothing personal. It's either I didn't see it because I'm already gaming and in a party or I'm away from the keyboard. There's plenty of times that I will turn the Xbox or the PC or my phone 
or not turn it off. I'll just put it down or I'll turn the channel on my TV if I'm playing Xbox, you know, and I come back later and there's all these invites. So I'm just throwing it out there. Send an invite. If they don't answer, definitely send another one five, ten minutes later. That is proper gaming etiquette. And don't get mad if you don't hear a reply. Don't get upset. It's nothing personal. The person is just probably busy or their way. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. And I know most of you watching this video aren't the ones that I'm talking about. But, I mean, multiple, pe multiple people do it all the time. And I know other friends have talked to me about it. You know, we kind of laugh about how sometimes uh, certain age groups tend to message a lot. Like, my younger friends that I play certain games with, you know, say younger than 25. Yeah, that's a good, under 25. Sometimes they can message more than necessary, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. It's just some gaming etiquette for everyone. And, you know, it's kind of common sense. Because, me personally, I would never message someone more than twice. If they don't answer, that's okay. I'll message someone else, jump in another party, play a different game, or whatnot. So the only other time is why I say people get upset is because I played with this one person and we played for a couple years on and off. You know, every time he's online, I was online, we played. I think it was Rocket League, actually. And then one day, I get this message. Or no, sorry, he invited me a bunch of times. I didn't reply because I was busy. And then I get this message and... He was very upset. He said, I thought we were friends. I thought we had something. And now he said, I thought we had something. He doesn't speak fluent English. So I knew kind of what he meant. But, you know, the message went on like that. I thought we had some. I thought we were friends, etc. And I had to delete him and block him because that's just too much for me. You know, obviously something's going on in that person's life. And I feel for them. But... You're not going to guilt me just because I didn't play a game. You know what I mean? So that's another reason why I brought that up. We just all have to learn that it's okay. You know, we've been gaming now for, well, my whole life. But I mean, internet-wise, multiplayer-wise. You know, it's been solid for the last 15 years. More than that, but I mean solid, big groups, Xbox Live type of thing. So we should all know the gaming etiquette by now. You know, and I know new people are starting gaming all the time, the younger ones. But that's my point. You just, it's okay. You know, I play sometimes with the younger people. I sound like I'm old, man. I mean, I am, according to the calendar, mentally, no, no I'm not. I'm just a two-year-old. <laughs> no, uh, I'm probably 20. No, uh, 16. But, you know, I'm sure everyone has had a situation like that. And if you're going, well, I messaged and I got upset. That's okay. It's okay to get upset, but don't, you don't, you know, that's personal stuff. Don't throw it on the other person. It's, it's not necessary. And my point from that, since I digressed, was that we've been playing for enough years that the toxicity can start to get lower and we can start to be okay with common sense gaming etiquette. So how, many, how many of these have I ripped through now? It's got to be getting pretty close. I'm guessing about 75 or so. It's too bad they didn't. Oh, I got a blue rune. Excellent. Great for Onslaught. Need some more. Yes, please. Give me some more. I, have, I saw a couple three-star legendaries I pulled up there. Oh, I'm going through kind of a slow spurt here. Oh, there we go. Good item. Good wisp. Absolutely fantastic. And the legendary whips are great. I need those right now because I'm going to show you guys that little trick. I think I did put it in one of my videos a couple videos ago. And I know I've gone over it in the Discord channel a couple times with some screenshots. So that's another reason why I want to go over some of these uh, tips and stuff that I've put in other videos. And that we've just been talking about for years. So it's been a long time since I've made a comprehensive Heroes video. I'm not going to go over everything, but since it's Onslaught, and for the newcomers, and thanks for the subscription, the two of you that just joined my channel, I appreciate it. One of you is actually in Discord, too, So, which makes it a whole lot easier when you're gaming with people. 
Discord is a great app. All right, come on. We got to be, I wonder where we're at here. Nice, getting those good wisps. Another one, fantastic. I've seen a lot of the same equipment, though. All the all those lower ones, like the that one there, the bronze and the gold and the rare, all that that example, the rare gold, those are great just to sell because they're like five thousand a piece or something. And then you get into the higher ones, and they they give you lots of gold. It takes I wish they made it a little easier. Whereas you can craft multiple, you can consume multiple. I wish they would actually let you sell multiple rarities of items. That would save a lot of time. So I will go over that and sell a couple just so anyone who's new, they can actually see how you can do it. Because they kind of, they don't make it hard, but it's not abundantly clear how to do it. But again, this game is seven years old, so got to give it a little bit of slack. This is one of the very few games that I have been playing for seven years. It's unbelievable. I don't think there is another mobile game. Hmm... Trying to think, maybe Candy Crush, but that's not really a game. Well, I mean, it's a game, but yeah, I guess Candy Crush would be a close second, but that's not always installed either. It kind of comes and goes. Oh, fantastic! Great rune. He's actually a good one star legendary. So we must be coming up. Oh, another one. Oh, it's an XP. That's ah, okay. I'm going to need to level some people up, I'm assuming, after this. Oh, are we done? Oh, I'm out of room. All right, so before we continue, let us sell some stuff and consume some stuff real quick. I'm assuming that it was the heroes that I was out of room for. I'll take that gold. Oh, I do have 97 keys. I'll show you. So I can... Oh, I got... No, 99. Just the orange. So I did have one I could... Alright. Let's sell some stuff. Then I'll go back and open the rest. And then we'll get into this. Alright. So the runes. Just to be safe. I'm going to craft. So these runes. You want to hit craft. And then you can hit sort by down. Because I have so many. There we go. So you want craft and then that and do one there and then hit craft multiple. Craft by rarity. And it'll do all the gold that it can of that. So there's four there. That's okay. And now we do the next level up. Oh, I thought, uh, see, it fooled me. I got two gold. Craft multiple. Seven of those, fantastic. Definitely got multiple gold there. This will go to the purple. Purple's eyes, you can go. Seven of those. But the one nice thing about the purple is that, so this says 59 days. Ah, I did put this in my last video, I remember. Oh, see, here's one for five days. So, five days, five days. Now, no, don't hit craft multiple, just craft. And that's going to bring it to a month so it's not there but 30 20 it's down here somewhere there's another five day one might as well just pop that in so when you've got a rune that's about to expire you can even do it when there's one hour left so not only will it make it two hours it doubles the time but it's going to give you a whole month that's a one hour one. That's a one hour one. Where's my two hour ones? Here's a two hour. See, 29 days. Two hours. So that's great. If you ever have runes that are about to expire. Oh, here's another five day. We'll get the low ones here. And it's still five days, but we're just making room right now. So it really doesn't matter how long. Oh, that must have been a. Yeah, two hours already on that one. There we go. 
Okay, so we've got room there. Now let's do some equipment. Let's go to the heroes. Let's sell off some equipment and get some space. So, we'll go equipment, which is just this tiny icon right up here. And I'm going to scroll down to my weaker stuff. Oh, I got lots of good. I'm going to go all the way down to the cheap stuff first. Oh, my goodness. Woo. No wonder. Look at this craziness. Oh, I got lots of those. And some of those epic ones are actually pretty good. Now these are just ridiculous. These are just good for money. You really don't want to equip any of these. You really don't. So this is going to take forever. So I'm only going to do a few. And then I'm going to do a few heroes real quick. We'll come back to the heroes because I actually want to check out some stats while we do it. But for right now, after I get these done, just making some room. Because I'll do this on my off time. Because I could waste a whole hour of this video. So this is what I'm talking about. I really wish you could sell by bundles. It's kind of unacceptable that they make you sell this stuff one at a time. Especially these low ones, you know. Like, this is going to take some time. But just sell a couple more so that I have enough room to at least open the rest of my lyrium packs and that's why I'm gonna consume a couple heroes real quick and go back to opening the rest then we'll come back to the consuming and check out some stats and see what really levels up and what else I can level up this, this is my team right now Fantastic team for this onslaught. Red is the bonus, like I said, 600 health and power. Um, I might swap out Shapeshifter Morgan, though. Uh, Jarvia is fantastic in this event, and so is uh, Advisor Liliana. I think it's, is it Advisor? I can't remember. I know, I'll know her when I see it, but I'm pretty sure it's the Advisor Liliana. Or, Advisor, or, I, I'm, I'll check it when I look. Kind of useless just guessing with myself here. Okay, now let's get some heroes out of the way. I'm just going to consume all my low heroes into somebody. Um, oh, I know. Let's go to the event enhance real quick. Now I am working on a second Tempest Sarah, so maybe I'll just work on her for these cheap ones. But I wanted to see where my Jarvia fits into all of this. Oh, Viscount Varric is acceptable in this one. Oh, I'll switch out Morgan for him. Absolutely. Oh, I can even find a better equipment for him. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Now, is he fully... Nope. All right. Let's see. Let's just do these cheapies. Uncommon... And normally, you know, I would do all the tiers on these low and then consume them all. But these are so, so low. And what I mean by that is that when you consume heroes, normally I would actually put those guys in so he'd be tier 3, he'd be tier 3, the dragon would be tier 3, etc. All of these would be a tier, tier 4. And then consume all by rarity. But we're kind of running on a tight schedule here. So we're just going to consume them all. And I mean, for this XP, it really isn't going to make a difference. Because for these lower ones, they really don't give that much XP. When I need so much XP to level him up. So again, if I was starting on a lower hero, or that sort of XP made a big difference, then it would make a big difference. So, ooh, see, now this is troublesome because I got all these epics. And they really do make a difference. They give good XP. Let's see, I'll do some of the ones that don't have duplicates. 
Just so I can make some room. Oh, he's got a duplicate. Just so I can make Is he? Oh, he is, too. Oh, he's a four anyway. Perfect. Is he level up? No, okay, the rest of them are just regulars. And he's a regular. He's a regular. Come on, get over there. Why is my game wigging out? There we go. Let's get those guys in there. And you see that really... You saw that. You see how I can put five in here. And you really see... Especially because they're singles. And again, Varric is... You saw way up in the tiers. So see, that only does that little bit. Now, if these were all tier fives, that would be much better. But we don't have time to do all that right now. And I've got all kinds of really good stuff. So for the moment, that's good. We're just clearing up some room. But I don't want to get a comment going, Man, why are you wasting your things? And it's okay to message me and let me know that I could do something better. I actually appreciate that. I went over this in my last video. But there's no need to be toxic anymore. You don't need to send me a message going, Oh man, you suck. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I kind of do know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get stuff done fast for videos. And if you've watched my videos, I've gone over that other stuff in other videos. So there's just no need to be toxic anymore. You know, it's kind of funny. Sometimes it actually seems like we are growing up a little bit. Because it seems like things were a lot worse a few years ago. You know, minus the COVID, you know, stress brains that everyone's going through. But, you know, it is time to level up. We can do this. All right, let's just do a couple more. How about uh, someone with singles? You. You know, normally, again, in a full video, I would definitely keep some of these epics because there are events where epics actually get, you know, like that 10,000 bonus and teams that have epics will just wipe out anybody. But I never, I can never keep my epics because I always, I give in because I just want to upgrade so many different heroes. That I just can't hold on to my epics. I know which ones I want to use. It's always a good team, but I could just never do it. <laughs> I just love upgrading stuff. All right, that should be enough to finish these off. How many left do we have? How much left? I got some of these iron packs too. Get these first. Another epic. Another epic. Epic. Okay, that takes care of him. Oh, we're down to eight. Beautiful. That was perfect. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Man, the game is lagging out for some reason tonight. Oh, it is Saturday. Well, Friday night, kind of. Since I haven't gone to sleep yet, it's still the night that we've stayed up for, even though technically, times it's Saturday morning at four in the morning. Still Friday night to me. Oh, that's RNA. He doesn't look very familiar. He's white and red. He's only two star, but what does he do? That's weird. I don't recognize him. Health for warriors. Okay. Defenders. Allies gain 20% power. Ally dies. Uh, well, decent stats. Every hero is good, actually, because there's always another hero that complements that character and makes him twice as good than his actual base stats. That's one thing I love about this game. All right, so there we go. That's all the packs. So, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over that trick when you're fortifying. So let's find a hero... It only has legendary. So, oh, I know I'm doing that new Tempest Sarah. I'm sure I haven't done her yet. So let's check her fortifications. No, not at all. Perfect. So she's white and red. You're going to want white and red wisps. 
So when you go to your wisps, instead of going right to a purple one, that's multi-faction, or one of the, her color, which would be white and red. I'm sure, I have some white and reds in here. Yeah, there's some. Okay, now, so when you don't have enough to get four, you're like, oh, I'm short, I only have three. This is a nice little trick. It works on all legendary wisps. So if it would scroll, this game is lagging out tonight. Oh, please tell me I have a white and red wisp. Oh, I just saw it fly by. Oh, maybe I didn't see it fly by. Are you serious? I don't have any white and red. I have, to, I have every other color in the rainbow. I don't have any white and red. Well, I could use just use a, a red on her. Or a white. I have plenty of red. But what I need to know is do I have any mythic? That's the, I'm going to do so you can actually see the result. There's blue, there's black. Oh, I have white. Okay, I don't think I have any red, but I do have white. So let's do it with the white one first. So when you have a hero, oh my goodness, come on, why is this lagging out so much? Okay, here we go. So let's say you have a, oh my god. So there's a white legendary. Now I could put two, actually, you know what, I did have a few, so why don't we do that? You can do it with just one, you can do it with as many as you want. So fill up with legendary first. Oh, this is perfect, because I actually have... Oh, wait, you got to do this first. This is also why I don't fortify... Or consume all my whips into a, a full tier 4 or whatever. Because there are plenty of times... Where you need just one or two. You know what I mean? You don't want all four, because you might already have a slot with one or two in it. And then you'd be wasting it. Because if you pick one with four, it will go to the max of four, but you're losing out on two. Oh, this is crazy. Look at how much this is. Look how far apart they are. Oh, we're just going to do this one time so that you can see it. Oh, this is driving me crazy. This won't scroll. Here we go. Come on, get in there. Two, okay, one more time, and I can show you. Normally, this would be going boom, boom, but I don't know why the game is so laggy tonight. I mean, this has happened before, but it's kind of unfortunate that it's happening when I want to make a video and show you some neat little tricks. And I can't scroll through the wisps. Come on, man. We only need one more down here. Come on. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I am just constantly scrolling. You can see it light up every once in a while. Just trying to get through this list, and it's like every three swipes is one movement. This is ridiculous. There's four swipes, and there's three. Okay, so here's the last one of the legendary. Okay, so that now makes it a tier three. So, normally that would happen super fast. I could have got the whole character done by now. So when this happens, if you have a mythic, purple, and you already have legendaries in here, sometimes you're like, oh man, I don't have four mythic wisps. As long as you have a legendary in there, and you have a mythic of the same color. Now, if I had one white and three purple, it works the same way. But you know, it's always nice to use your legendaries first. And again, that's why I don't consume all these to tier them up. Because if I had tiered all these up, this would be a total waste. So this would be a two right now if I tiered them up. That would be a three. If I put them together, I'd be losing one of my wisps. You see what I mean? But, so here's the trick. You got your legendaries all up in here. 
and then you uncover one of these from a Lyrium pack and you go like this boom tier 4 purple so you can't do it with the other ones but you can do it from legendary to mythic which is super nice you can do it with one you can do it with two you can do it with three if you have four then you really don't need to do it but it's a great way to save your mythic wisps fill your legendaries up and then just add the one and boom it's all full so there's that neat trick which took an hour to explain that was unfortunate okay the one character I do want to look at before we go on is Jarvia oh and advisor Lillian is it advisor let's find out they're both in the red category they're white and red I think but we'll just go to red to make it easier 278 in here oh boy I see now this is scrolling just fine of course look at all those I got of course it scrolls easy when I'm just scrolling I don't want to show something specific okay eh? of course okay now where's my I want to check out Jarvia and advisor Liliana was that her right there yes oh look at that I don't even have her leveled up she is fantastic in this event text the column and curse herself 50% chance to attack a row and slow 50% chance to assassinate a single target oh I like that 50% power drain resist 50% power 20% damage resist and 15% two times damage chance for inquisition and chantry when attacked sorry it's dark right now the screen's blurry and bright when attacked drains 5% energy or enemy power more likely to attack enemy with lowest health uh I do want to give her a go actually so I only have one of her I'll go check first because I think I might actually have I know she's already done up there but I think I actually have another one of her I gotta put them together oh no she's three star I'm down at the two stars no I don't and where's um, well, I'll look in a second. Okay, so we got her there. And let's see. She's purple, so yeah, I know. It costs more to upgrade her, blah, blah, blah. But the one thing I will do... Oh, I do have the blue things. Watch how fast. We'll go over this real quick, too, because... Watch how fast. When you have experience runes... And you want to use this little cheap 20. It's only 20 energy for these blue. So we're going to do a bunch of these real quick. I'll throw some other characters. Oh, i got to make a team first. What am I thinking? So let's go to team. We'll do it on team two. Team one is that team two is exactly the same thing. So do I need to level up any of these other large ones that I can use for the event? Let's see. Let's go to event enhanced. Is there anybody else in here that's worthwhile? Uh Z fives. Z fives he full? Oh, he's only tier one too. But I have to use some wisps to jack him to four. Which I don't want to do right now, but we're going to be working on her. It's making the team so that when I level up, we can just level her up real quick, level wise. Because she's 85 or 85, but I'm going to check her tiers up real quick so that I can get her to 100. But what I want to do besides her is upgrade. Oh, he needs to be upgraded. Iron Bull. I can do him just by himself. Um, who else here? There is a lot of heroes that are event enhanced on this one. This is a good. I'm gonna make a couple teams before we log off to do the onslaught. Oh, now it's starting to lag out again. Come on. 
Oh, that banner. I can definitely do that banner. And what I'll do as well is I will consume him up to the next level. Because he's a Ferelden one. Ferelden one. Templar banner. So he's a Ferelden one. These are all Templars down here. Yep. Is he full tier? Yep. Alright. There we go. Some three stars. Who's this over here? Hero of the River. That's white. No, we want... This is event, event enhanced, but I want to concentrate on the red ones. Oh, I've got full him. Oh, i got lots of characters I can sacrifice away. I know he's going up there. We're down to the two star. Okay, oh, so all these three stars are just extras for mine. Oh my goodness. Click, click. I have him. I know he's leveled up much higher. Well, I need to find some more people. Oh, I only need to find one more person, actually. Who is this again? Alright, I'm going to throw him in there. Oh, but he's white faction. She, he. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, just so we can see. I want to show you how fast these people level up. And now, is there any large creatures on the event enhanced list? No. I don't see anybody. Alright, so what I'll do then is get one of the ones that I haven't really fixed up. Oh, here, right here. 52 for 100. Perfect. So that's going to be my level up team. Oh, come on. Game. Oh, no. It totally crashed out on me. It did. Oh, it came back. Look at that, man. Why is it lagging? Okay, so now we need to consume a couple of these just so I can tear her up. Because this is all basically for Advisor Liliana. That's what I'm working on the most. All right. Enhanced. Oh, and since I'm using some of these to level them up, I will tear these up to a four. I'm not going to waste these. And one more. Perfect. They should be right at the top. Oh, I got a few of them, don't I? Yeah, they're there, right there. Oh, we have no sound going on. It's weird. I don't hear any sound at all. No, we did. We lost the sound. All right. Well, it could be a recording sound. And I just can't hear it, so I'll turn that down just in case. But that's unfortunate. Wow, this game is really wigging out tonight. See, I was talking so much I didn't even realize we lost all the sound. Alright, so those are all done up. We still have one, two, three. I'll keep those as singles just in case I'm using them for something else. Alright, now we want Advisor Liliana. Where'd they be? Where are you? There she is. 
Come on. All right, perfect. So she's full. Yeah, I gotta get her way down there. Okay, now is there anything else I can sacrifice? Oh, the epics. Let's just do multiple epics. Like I said, normally I would tear these up, but for all intents and purposes, since we're on a time crunch here. 58 epics? Yes, please. Oh, that brought her to a three. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And we just need her to get one more. So we can sacrifice some wisps. Let's go down. Oh, wait. Sort the other way. Oh, man. I really don't want to sacrifice legendary wisps. Especially one at a time. She's so close to going up. You know what we're going to do? I'm not going to wait. She's just so close to going up. And she's red, too. Wait a minute. I'm not going to just do a different color. Yeah, blue. I'm not using blue right now. Can worry about blue another day. All right, those should probably be enough. I'll do one other color just in case. What do I have a lot of? Uh, I guess I'll have to do. I don't want to do the multicolors. I'll just make those blacks a tier three. That should definitely. Well, that will be enough to get her to tier four. Absolutely. Well, maybe not. Absolutely, it's gonna be close. All right. Now let's go back and grab Liliana. Advisor Liliana, not just regular Liliana. We want Advisor Liliana. Oh, there she is right there. Perfect. All right, now let's go back down to the Wisps. All right. Come on. I just zoom past that white, blue, no, no singles yet. There they are. So let's do that one. Oh, that did it. You only needed the one. All right, perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, now let's go to the blue key. I'll show you how fast when you have two purples and a prestigious blue. If you have not done this yet yourself. Oh, and I have blue keys I can pick up. So as soon as I spend this blue key. Oh, I did spend it. Watch this. Go back and pick this blue key up. We got 99 again. Just can't ever get rid of the keys fast enough. All right. And we're going to do that wisp event. I'll show you about that ludicrous I was talking about. When you're doing wisps, difficulty really doesn't matter. Unless you're really weak characters. Let's fill that back up. And you will go to the 10th round and then time out. Not time out. Uh, lose. Okay, so here they are. All characters. Oh, wait. Iron Bull. I need to tear him up, don't I? Dang it. Sorry, guys. I'll go back. Just give him a real quick tear up to tier 4. So that was Iron Bull. He was a tier three. I need to tear him up before I can level him up, though. And we'll go to consume. Bad timing for the game to start lagging now. I apologize for Heroes of Dragon Age. That's so unfortunate. See, now it's doing fine, but... The sooner that I say that, there he is. 
Okay, now let's do the mythics that I put together already. Got a single blue down here and then the black. So that black one for sure. And that blue one right there. Let's see where that brings us. Tier 4, perfect. All right, now everybody's ready to go. So when you're uh, on here, um, seconds go up, make sure I'm doing it right now. Equip these runes. Got a blue one right here. And then we've got some purple guys right here. Now, so you saw there's a level one, and then the higher levels that go to 100 now, 52. Watch how awesome this is. So I'm in the blue key XP event. It's only 20 energy with these runes. Watch this. This is fantastic. If you want to level your heroes up fast, this is the way to do it. You get about 30 levels when you're at a base level one. So let's see where they go. Boom, she's up. He's up, obviously. Up. And River, let's see. And my dragon. So he went from 1 to 31. She's at 95, 97. So from level 1 to 31, you can see how fast and how awesome. This is the way to level your heroes up. When you've got these blue, do not let those expire. Because you can't extend prestigious runes, the blue ones. Once the blue ones are done, they're done. So, you know, there have been times I'm guilty of it. I've wasted my fair share of runes because I've been too busy or too lazy. <laughs> whatever the case may be. And it's when you only use two purple ones, it's good. You know, it's still good, but it's not the same. If you want to just level everybody up in a couple moves... You grab your prestigious room. And see, he's almost done already. It's only been two fights. That's the beautiful thing. 97, 98. You do two more rounds, and the, my top Liliana and Iron Bull should be done. And I've got these for 45 minutes to an hour, and I probably only got about 20 minutes left of this video. I can think of a couple more things I want to go through. So I'm not going to level my whole team up and make you wait another 20 minutes just as I go through this, because there are some other stuff I want to show you the onslaught. Uh, I want to show you, I ah, forget some of the things I wanted to show you already. I'll remember them as we go into the list though. I showed you crafting runes. I showed you the legendary fortification trick. I'm showing you the XP leveling up real quick with the prestigious and the purples. Or prestigious and mythic or whatever they are. Lillian is up, 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 up. Everybody's up. So Iron Bull's done. So normally at this point, I would just go back, replace Iron Bull with another hero that I'm leveling up. And you know what? I am going to do that real quick. I'm not going to search for one I want. We're just going to go right to the list, like right to the basic list and scroll down real fast and just level up the first... Regular legendary. Oh, come on. Don't start lagging out on me now. Come on. Let's get through this. Come on. Come on. Here it goes. Oh, here we go. Okay. How about we... I don't really need... I can't do a large creature, obviously. Let's have to go through those and figure those out. Okay. So those are all... Extremely duplicate duplicates. So how about we just choose 
What about all these large creatures are in the way again? Here we go. I guess spend some time and go through these. Look at you can see how many doubles, and these are already duplicates of duplicates. So you can see. All right, we're getting down. Here we go. How about we do? I know that dragon's done. Ah, oh, we'll throw him in there. Why not? Who was done? Red Bull. Red Bull. Iron Bull. All right. Let's go back. I just want to get Liliana all the way up. And get a few more of these in just so I don't. Oops. Waste too much of it. I'm going to waste a little bit of the blue one because I'm not going to keep going. Because this is good for 45 minutes. So I'm not going to sit here and do this for 45 minutes. Although, I could actually just pause the video, which would probably be even smarter. But, again, you saw the time. It's like 5 in the morning. And if I pause it, or if I pause the video, I'll probably forget to restart the video, and then I'll never have a finished video. So, I don't mind sacrificing one prestigious rune to finish the video. It's going to go through these energy. Oh, I know. And the wisps. We we're always going to show you the wisps, too. So even though it says ludicrous, it really isn't ludicrous. The difficulty setting. It really isn't too hard. You know, while this is going on, you know what we should do? Why don't you come with me? So I can make. Or not make. I'm going to get a new drink. Of course, drink. Canada dry ginger ale most of the time. So why don't we go get that done? All right. How much more energy do I have? Oh, check out lots of lake outside. Oh, it's beautiful outside. Thought I'd come out on the back deck for a sec and just see how beautiful it was out here. Okay, so she's done, the banner's done. I right know. Okay, so that's good for now. She was the one I was working on. I can do the rest of those later. So now, oh, and I still got some energy, the wisps. Yes, yeah, so on Saturdays, which is a great day, especially when you have Onslaught. So, you know, usually ludicrous on anything is ridiculous, you know, crazy hard. But Saturday Wisps, not so much. The only thing you got to worry about is not being strong enough to completely destroy them. Uh, I wonder if I could do them with this team right here. Oh, why risk it? Oh, you know what, though? Let's just see. Let's just see. I might as well get the XP for it since I got the XP runes activated. He didn't hurt them up whatsoever. Didn't think he would, though. Liliana will probably take him down. Well, this is actually a good example of the rounds. Now, I probably kill them before I get to 10. But for those that have just joined the game, you can see you really don't got to worry about getting killed with ludicrous difficulty setting. It's more along the lines of can you finish destroying them before you get to the final round. Now normally I would use my strong team and just roll through these real quick and spend all my energy. But since I had these XP runes activated, why not? And I'll definitely make it. It's definitely not going to be a problem. So yeah, always remember on Wisp Day, pick the hardest level you can. Well, not if you've, you're only like level 20 or something. But you really don't need characters that are too strong that you can, as you can see, I've made it to round 5 and some of these characters have no equipment. There's tier 1. But yeah, see, that was great. That leveled them up greatly. I still got 20. 
I'll save it for later because I'm going to get more wisps in a little while anyway. All right, why don't we check out Onslaught and see how everyone's doing. And we'll go through a couple Onslaughts. Uh, onslaught, here we go. I just started today. And we are in 57th spot right there. Not bad. Let's see how everyone's doing individually. Now you can see for this one you need a thousand banners to get the guild prizes. You still get your regular player rewards for the event, but you need at least a thousand banners to also get the guild rewards. And right now we're in 57, so we'll get the one with 50 to 100, or 50 to 75, sorry. So right now we're in this, this range right here for the guild prizes. Got a bloodstone pack, got some gold, some items that you can sell. 65 gems is nice, and a purple key, which I do not need. So basically, sometimes our best ever is 47th. Uh, that would give us 100 gems and see if we can get back down to there. So I'm only at 1393 right now, but we still got a whole day and a bit, a day and about eight hours left. So let's go in. So you're in Onslaught. Let's do some Onslaught. Let's get some points. And I will, oh, I wanted to add Liliana. That's right. So let's check out some points here. That's another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to. Now this video is already long enough. I'll check out. Well, let's just see real quick. So we got Shapeshifter Morgan's base. I'm gonna change team two. It's always good to have two teams in these events because you know certain factions beat certain factions. So you you don't always just want one team. You always want your first team to be your good strong team, which I usually use. But then you get run into those certain teams that are. Okay, so I'm going to replace Liliana. And I'm going to keep the Hunter Horn. I'm going to keep all the same just so I can see the stat difference. And then I have Tempestera in that slot. I have Queen of the Eastern Seas over here. Actually, she might be in the one down. Yeah, she's in the down one. I got Revenant Gerd there. He's slow, but he kicks butt. But we'll see. I'm going to change this up after the... Come on, man. And it put him back? Jeez. There we go. All right, now let's compare. I also wanted to check out Viscount Varric. So I don't have any runes on either of these. Well, the XP runes, but they're not going to affect any of these stats. So, set up like this. My advisor Liliana is 104,289. We're Shapeshifter. Morgan is 97 and 399. The health is extremely higher. But don't forget, I have not added any equipment or fortified anything on Advice Lily you know, whatsoever. So you can see, I can pretty much see she's already... All right, let's go back in. Just gotta remember to grab a pop. Uh, I do wanna check out Viscount Barrick. So, before I start... Ouch! Backing her stuff up. Let's just see what Viscount Varric does by himself here. He's right down here somewhere too. He's not very far. Uh, he should be right down here. Oh. Come on, come on, scroll. Here we go. Or to pass him? Nope. There he is. Alright. So let's check out stats with him. Now I do have he my Varric, Viscount Varric is pretty leveled up. He's definitely one of my favorite archers. Back row heroes. I do switch between Shapeshifter Morgan and him quite a bit. Oh, see he's only 89 to 6, 260. So the way he is set up right now, Shapeshifter Morgan is definitely better, but Advise Liliana, we are going to add some equipment and fortify her real quick with some stuff. I 
and just see how I can get her up there with what I got right now. And change her up. Okay. Oh, look at that. I've got a legendary in there. Okay. So now, let's just do this one is four tier four, right? Yep. So there's let's do her on the power. Do that on the power. Do that on the power. 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 And we'll do some health. Some health. That's an only a one. Okay, I'm down to the basics there. Now, before I finalize those, I need white and red. Do we have any white and reds? Or red and white? Oh, we do. But no legendary ones by themselves, right? I have enough to fill that one slot. Come on. Oh, I pass it. Oh, it's red and blue. Black and red. Red. I could give her an all red as long as I have them in mythic I'll be able to completely oh I don't have any red mythics by themselves do I nope that's alright that is okay okay what I will do though is Add that to that. See, it went to Mythic, so it's always good. Let's confirm that. Oh, man, those are big stats. I looked at it real quick. That was fantastic. Oh, it's unfortunate that I can't get her final power up, too. I should have actually just removed one of the other ones. That's okay, though. This is good for now. This is what I wanted for now, just to, to get her bumped up just a little bit. And we got more red and white right there and I can finish this one too excellent excellent and a red and white here all right so yeah she's pretty good I just gotta open that last one get one of those all right now let's check her stats out I got a feeling she's gonna be much better than shapeshifter Morgan oh forgot to put her in the lineup dang it all right, so back down here, team two, she should have moved up the list quite a bit to be honest with you, but she's still down there, oh that's looking good, that's looking real good, all right now let's check out their stats. And you know what? I don't really want to surprise. I don't. I mean, I do want to surprise myself. So let's put it on team one first. And so I can refresh my memory on those stats. All right. So Shapeshift to Morgan. We got 102, 398. Advise Liliana. 144, 359. Boom. She destroys. And she's not even fully upgraded yet. Oh, <laughs> one thing I forgot. I got to give her some equipment. Oh, wait, no, she does have equipment, doesn't she? Not the greatest. I'm going to look real quick here. This one's for rogues. Click the mark. Bonus damage versus red, black, and defenders. And it's stacking. That's a. You know what? I'm going to leave those alone for right now. I'm going to go through all those in detail some other time. All right, let's do a some quick uh i've got four energy or stamina i don't forget which one's which stamina all right so we've got her loaded up on team one. Oh, i put her on the wrong team and the only reason i want her on team one is that i want her defending to help stop some of the other teams when they're fighting us Uh, where'd she go? Oh my god, scroll, please. All right. Good to go. Whoa! He has got... Okay, we can definitely change some of this stuff. I'll do that now. He's one of my favorite characters. I can't believe I forgot all this time. Mage Warriors Rogues. 
10 10 percent power 10 percent times two damage chance beauty thousand damage just per hit 20 health oh that is a fantastic one i will replace that any day with him he's that's perfect for him now that one's got four health six curse double four of our spirits see I, I probably put that in there just to get it in there because i was filling up the equipment 10 health 8 power oh i can't use that one anyway what am i looking at that for this is for warriors when hit heals allies seven percent Plus 12% stun resist for lesion allies. That's not bad. Oh, I hate it when you got the personal hurt one. There you go, all heroes. 10% all effect resist, 10% allies damage resist. Cassandra, oh, it's for Cassandra. Oh, he could use it, but when you, I see items with a name specific to them, I always use it on those unless I have many duplicates and I'm just using it to fill up a slot or something. Uh, I always like to for allies 10% bonus damage for and against black faction and demon allies. Ooh, some power allies. The ones there is 4% health curse allies. Devil of our. This one's actually not bad. I'd actually prefer it with an elf, but let's just see what else we got here. More like you do attack large creatures, bonus damage versus large. He doesn't, he attacks everybody, so. Warriors. 10 health, I have 4 health. 8 power, 13 damage, resist for allies. On attack deals 5% of damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's equip that one. I like that one. And now, finally, we got five bonus damage, non spirits, three percent, two times damage chance. Uh, it's for dogs. Oh wait, oh it's for all heroes. Ah, uh, ten percent minus self. No, thank you. No, thank you. More likely to be stunned. He's not. I'll save that for a row. Whoa, I got a few of those. Oh, uh, he's gaining 13% power and health on any death. On enemy death, all enemies take 2% damage. I've got a few of those, and I like. Oh, I can't use it on him. Dang, I like that too. Wasn't really paying attention. Come on. Thousand damage resists, ten percent damage resist. Theron family equip. Mm, I got three of those too. Reduces enemy chance to flank. Plus three percent damage resist versus flankers. Hmm. I mean, he can use it. It's not. Okay, 7% bonus damage, 3% times 2 chance. Oh, and that's what this one had to... You know what? I'm going to use this right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is the damage? Iron Bull. No, I just upgraded my Iron Bull. That's going to Iron Bull. That's a perfect... Well, it's obviously it's made for him. But that is fantastic. I'm giving Iron Bull that. What about this guy right here? On attack deals, using damage. Okay, and it's got the bonus times 2... Okay, perfect. This is what I'll replace it with. That's much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, now let's do some onslaught. Let's equip some runes. So we are going to want... Uh, this one is the stealth rune. Doesn't trigger it. Heroes in your squad are immune to power curse, which just comes in handy. Uh, this is the splashback. Reverts percent. Yeah, those I like. So is this one here too, I think. Heroes in your squad will resist percentage of the damage received. Um, Splashback. Yeah, let's do the splashback right now. And we're going to want... Why don't we go... I could go power and health. 
I do like the speed. If I do speed and power, though, that gives me it's because both my archers are quick. Queen of Eastern Seas for real. Revenant Gird is slow, but he is powerful. Well, here, let's go with this first. We're going to go with speed and power with the splashback. Excellent. 244, 359. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit here first. I really got to fix his. I don't like that. 300,000 health. Before, oh, let's give this one a go. He's got some quick heroes there, though. Oh, man. No problems there. There's no next limit, so that's just why I'm scrolling through some of these right now. I mean, many of these teams you can see. But again, if you're just starting this game... When you're attacking, they could have much less stats than you, and you will still lose, which is one thing that drives me nuts about this game. Uh, you definitely have better ratioed stats when you're defending, which you don't see anyway. You can see it in your battle log, and you can revenge somebody. But uh, these are all twos. That's, oh, they're okay. Jarvis over here. Jarvia, I mean. So let's see what happens here. These are one of the ones where you can lose real easy because Jarvia will come in quick and just stun or kill you. See, they're uh, doing my hunter horn streak. That's not a big surprise, but. Oh, there. See the stun. So this might be an issue. And she didn't do as much as I thought she would because that wasn't a critical hit. Oh, and it wasn't a critical hit at all. That just, I'm dead. I'm dead. As soon as Jarvie attacks, I'm dead. Oh, I got first. Didn't matter. She still didn't get another critical. Oh, there's a critical. Queen of the Eastern Seas coming through for the win. I have lost many, many battles today. You see how much lower those stats were? And I barely won. And that's only because I had the speed rune on. So what do we got? We got three energy left. Okay, three stamina left, I mean. Let's try and find some decent. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. The way all these, uh, Hero of the River, King Mirror, King Alistair. Oh, this should be interesting. If I can get the first hits off. Um, oh, no critical hit there. There's a critical. Nice hit, Gerd. Come on, Gerd. Good hit. Let's see here. Two more four hundred those four hundred thousand. It's almost the same team as the other guy. Or is this the same team? I thought it was a different large creature for some reason. Oh. Come on now, Liliana. 
Or sorry, that was Sarah. Oh. Come on, hit him. There we go. Good stuff. Let's see, let's see. That's our last fight. Come on, give me a good one here. Um, five, five, one. Advise Lillian Tempest. But well, we got the same as me going on here, except front row is white, white, and they pick. This should be an easy, well, I wouldn't say an easy win, but I got the speed room going, so. Oh, weak hit, Sarah. Another weak hit. They're going to get to go before my revenant. Oh, man, look at her, Sarah. Oh, the splashback. The splashback. Yeah, nice. The splashback takes in there. What a perfect final battle for the video. And that is why the Splashback Prestigious Rune is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Burp. Burp, burp. All right. Yeah. Damn, that was good. I can't even pick those up. All right, so I think I've gone over pretty much everything that I wanted to go over. Don't want to make this video too long. But in general, that was a good video. I got good rewards. Went over the Wisps, went over the Legendary Fortifications, went over Consuming, making things Tier 4 before you consume them. I uh, went over some items, equipment. I don't know. I'll remember. As soon as I stop recording this, I'll remember something. Oh, I know. That's what I wanted to do. Happens all the time. Oh, and I'm about to level up again. When you're doing those blue keys with all those XP, that jumps your thing up. So if you're, like, I'm, mine takes a long time because, as you can see, it needs a lot of XP for each level. That's just the next. So... When your lower levels doing it with those three, three, two purples and a blue, you will go up very fast. And then you also have to kind of judge when you're going to jump up because every time you get a full one, it replenishes everything. So I always try and use as much energy between it filling me up because, say, you know, you, you still got tons of these energies and you're about to level up. Try and spend them as best you can on a different team that doesn't have all that XP stuff so that you can get as much use out of this before this jumps up again because it's just going to refill everything anyway. So, yeah. All right. Well, I hope everyone's doing really good in Onslaught. And you can see we still have some room. Uh, I had to let a few people go because it was over a month that they'd been inactive. And I hope everybody stays safe and have a great weekend.